All right, Dave, thank you. 2020 was a catastrophic year for wildfires in California. More than 4.3 million acres burned and some fires burned for months. And while that is much above the five year average of 1.6 million acres, it actually might be more normal than almost anyone realized. KSBY News reporter Austin Herba is here to talk about some eye opening new research. Austin. Good evening, Richard. New research from UC Davis suggests that the number of acres burned in California might actually be normal. Now, of the top 20 largest fires in state history, most have happened since 2017. This research goes back much further than that. Massive, out of control fires wreaked havoc on California in 2020. Fires killed 33 people and caused more than $19 billion in damage. Every acre that we keep from burning now is just going to burn later with even more intensity at some point. Because in California, the question isn't, you know, whether something's going to burn, but rather when. Researchers at UC Davis estimate that three to four million acres burned across California each year before European settlement in the 1800s. When European Americans showed up on the scene, they weren't used to dealing with fire. They didn't view it as a positive force. They were scared of it. 2020 was the first year that the number of acres burned approached levels seen before the 1800s. But those fires were likely much different. The UC Davis research suggests the fires were less intense and much less destructive. Really the big change uh, in, in terms of, you know, the long view, if you're looking, talking about millennia, is not the area of burn, but, but rather the severity that fires are burning with and the sort of destructiveness that we're seeing on landscapes. The question really is what to do about fires now. Some are calling our current state a long-term disaster. The state wants to add more firefighters, do more controlled burning and fuel thinning. About the last century, we've had a, um, a policy where all fires were extinguished and there wasn't as much of this being done, right? So we're now trying to get ahead of it and start treating more acres. UC Davis researchers say the focus should shift to fighting fire severity instead of measuring success by reducing the number of acres burned. These recommendations are for forest and woodland, meaning that immediate fire suppression is still recommended for areas that are predominantly shrubland. Once you get into that landscape, particularly south of San Luis Obispo and even more south of the transverse ranges, you know, you're in systems in the lowlands, at least, where uh, continued fire suppression is absolutely uh, what we need to continue to do. Now, researchers say that California is on the right track in terms of fuel reduction, but much more work needs to be done. Reporting live in San Luis Obispo, Austin Herbaugh, KSBY News. All right, Austin, thank you. Studies authors say that fuel buildup is mostly what is causing explosive fire growth, meaning that climate change is more of a catalyst than the root cause of the problem.